Good day, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for a look back at this week aboard the International Space Station. I'm getting a view inside the International Space Station flight control room where the team has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 32 crew members. The six crew members aboard the station include NASA astronaut and commander of the complex, Sunny Williams, and flight engineers cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide, and now NASA astronaut Kevin Ford, shown here on the right, cosmonauts Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Turelkin. The uh, newest crew members of Expedition 33, Ford, Novitsky, and uh, Turelkin, had arrived at the International Space Station aboard their Soyuz TMA-06M and docked to the Poisk module of the space station yesterday morning, followed by a hatch opening at about 10.08 a.m. Central Time. The new trio will uh, close their first full day aboard the International Space Station today. Meanwhile, aboard the station to greet their new crew members, Williams, Malenchenko, and Hoshide, will complete their 105th consecutive day in space. And now let's look back at this week aboard the International Space Station. On Monday, Three new crew members had prepared to join their uh, Expedition 33 crewmates on board the International Space Station. They were scheduled to launch aboard their Soyuz uh, spacecraft that early that uh, Tuesday morning at 5.51 a.m. Central Time. The uh, new trio would later this week join Commander Sunny Williams and Flight Engineers Aki Hoshide and Yuri Malenchenko. Meanwhile, the SpaceX Dragon cargo capsule is... Uh, was due to undock and leave the station on Sunday for a return to Earth and recovery in the uh, Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. And also a uh, Russian resupply craft, the ISS Progress 49, is due for a launch and docking on October 31st. Meanwhile, while the traffic at the station is heavy, the uh, crew also began preparing for a uh, November 1st spacewalk. Williams and Hoshide will work outside to repair an ammonia leak on a port side radiator. There will be a briefing later this afternoon on NASA television at 1 p.m. Central Time to discuss that spacewalk in support of uh, that repair. Also on Monday, flight engineer Yuri Malenchenko had uh, stayed busy in the Russian segment of the space station. He had uh, focused on routine maintenance and uh, science while conducting his daily exercise regime. He also inventoried and uh, stowed gear from the Space Station Progress 48 resupply craft. Then on Tuesday, three new crew members began their trek to join their Expedition 33 crewmates aboard the International Space Station. They launched aboard the Soyuz TMA-06M spacecraft from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, Kazakhstan. William Hoshide and Malinchenko were busy with their daily science and maintenance tasks. Williams had repaired a uh, leaky valve in the carbon dioxide removal assembly. She also conducted a robotics test in cooperation with the European Space Agency. Williams then worked on the Viable experiment, which evaluates microbial biofilm development on space materials. And Hoshide worked in the Kibo lab to uh, retrieve biological samples from a science freezer for the resist tubule experiment. He also uh, exercised for the VO2 max experiment, which measures an astronaut's aerobic capacity in microgravity. Then Williams and Hoshide got together Tuesday to review departure procedures for the first commercial cargo craft to visit the station. And Malenchenko had later that afternoon uh, joined his crewmates for a fit check of the Soyuz Kazbek seats that uh, they will be using when they leave the station on November 12th for their return home. He also collected saliva and blood samples for a Russian experiment and then conducted a uh, video test in the Russian segment of the station and worked ongoing maintenance. Then on Wednesday, Commander Williams spent the first part of our day on the VO2 max experiment. Again, that experiment observes a uh, crew member's exercising to measure their aerobic capacity. She also visually analyzed samples of microbes that were collected from an incubator for the Micro 6 experiment. Williams then joined Hoshide for a conference with ground experts to review the procedures for November 1 spacewalk. Again, that's to repair an ammonia leak on the uh, port side radiator. 
Coach today on Wednesday worked with uh, microbe samples that were uh, collected for Japan's Microbe 3 experiment. That study seeks a cleaner cabin environment and monitors the uh, diversity of microbial life by sampling surfaces inside the Kibo laboratory. He also pre-packed gear for stowage inside the Dragon capsule before its Sunday release. He finally cleaned water in preparation for the arrival of fish that came aboard that Soyuz Team 06M for the aquatic habitat. Then on Thursday, three new crew members joined their Expedition 33 crewmates after docking that Soyuz spacecraft to the Poisk module Thursday morning. They uh, joined Commander Sunny Williams and flight engineers Aki Hushide and Yuri Malenchenko, who have been residing at the orbital laboratory since uh, July 17. The crew joined them uh, when hatches between both vehicles were opened a few hours after their docking. Expedition 33 will be a uh, six-member crew until November 12, when Williams, Hushide, and Malenchenko undock from the Rossviet module and return home inside the Soyuz Team A05M spacecraft for their landing in Kazakhstan. When they undock, Expedition uh, 34 will officially begin as Ford becomes commander, staying behind with uh, Novitsky and uh, Tarelkin, finally returning home in March of 2013. Meanwhile, on Thursday, back on Earth, three more crew members were in Star City, Russia, training for their December 5th launch to Return the station to the six-member crew, veteran astronauts Chris Hadfield and uh, Tom Marshburn, along with veteran cosmonaut Roman Romanenko, will complete the Expedition 34 crew, and then they will start the Expedition 35 crew beginning in March. Then on Friday today, Commander Williams had begun uh, handover activities and instruction with the newly arrived flight engineer Kevin Ford, who will later become commander of the orbiting complex next month. Williams spent some time this morning working with a couple of ongoing science investigations, Meteoron and uh, Micro 6. She and flight engineer Aki Hushde will also have a uh, review of the dynamic onboard ubiquitous graphics software, also known as DUG. This is visual simulation software that is used for spacewalk planning and uh, review of uh, station robotic arm operations. In this case, the, uh, the pair are reviewing operations for the unbirth and release of the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft that arrived back on October 10th. They also will participate in an onboard training session of Dragon's departure, followed by a conference with the ground today. Also today, uh, Hoshide will uh, participate in Cargo Ops Conference to discuss return items pre-packed in Dragon car cargo craft. Did that uh, unbirthing and release of the Dragon is scheduled to occur on Sunday. We'll uh, bring live coverage of the unbirth and release here on NASA television beginning at 6 a.m. The uh, station arm is uh, scheduled to release the commercial cargo craft at 8.26 a.m. Central Time, followed by a splashdown west of Baja, California, later Sunday afternoon at 2.20 p.m. Central Time. Also today, Hoshide had spent some time this morning working with the Aquatic Habitat Science Facility that is being used to look at how microgravity affects marine life. Meanwhile, the newest residents of the space station spent some time this morning setting up their uh, crew quarters and bringing items aboard the station that were brought up with them aboard their uh, Soyuz spacecraft. Flight Engineer Ford participated in his first private medical conference and began to uh, set up and review for the elite scientific study that looks at the connection between brain visualization and uh, motion in the absence of gravity. Again, the six-member Expedition 33 crew will now settle back to its normal station operations clock with a bedtime at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. And that's a look back at this week aboard the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston.